Thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, I would like uh, to thank the organizing committee for having chosen our uh, work in uh, oral communication. I'm Dr. Sylvain Sanyu. I'm Assistant Professor of Rheumatology at the University of Bataille, Eastern Algeria. And I present on behalf of my colleagues this work on the main reference values for musculoskeletal ultrasonography in Algeria. I have no conflicts of interest. So, as you know, ultrasonography, musculoskeletal ultrasonography, has known a widespread these last two decades in rheumatology. And the main indication for it is to differentiate between normal and pathological patterns. To achieve it, we have to know uh, the qualitative and quantitative modifications. Um, and the main feature for quantitative modifications would be to know the standard references for in our population for different anatomical structures. We have made a, <coughs> a PubMed and Scopus research in which we found only one work dealing with the standard reference values for musculoskeletal ultrasonography. Uh, the main aim of the study was that. And the, different, the problem is that this population included only German people and contained very detailed information. So the aim of our study was to determine to copy the same methodology and to, detain, to determine the main reference values for um, musculoskeletal ultrasound in an Arab um, population, uh, Algerian one, in healthy, of course, uh, population. So we have copied the same methodology. Um, we have taken 58 white volunteers, which were mainly uh, the uh, staff of the hospital, these paramedics and medical students and the friends of the authors. And we have excluded people who had less than 20 or more than 60 years old. Uh, uh, also, we have excluded people who had a uh, history of osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, or other inflammatory diseases, and also who had undertaken, had undertaken any uh, surgery or uh, orthopedic injuries. All uh, sonography, sonographical examinations have been performed by one sonographer uh, for uh, and all the measurements for the, the whole population. We have followed the standard <coughs> guidelines for musculoskeletal ultrasounds as described by Backhaus at, uh, in a, an article, very famous article, which, were, which was published in 2001. We have only uh, restricted our examination to the most routinely assessed structures. We have uh, made uh, transverse views of the long bicep tendon, a longitudinal one also, a transverse view of subscapularis tendon and of supraspinatus tendon, a longitudinal view of the acromioclavicular joint, as well as a transverse view of the median nerve. We have also performed a transverse um, view of the condylar cartilage, a longitudinal view of the patellar tendon, of the Achilles tendon, uh, a transverse one also, and a uh, longitudinal view of the uh, plantar aponeurosis. For all these examinations, uh, we have used only one uh, linear probe with one uh, setting, which was uh, it was a <coughs> linear five to ten megahertz um, frequency probe. Uh, we have <coughs> adjusted settings to t ten megahertz for frequency, one hundred percent for gain, and uh, one, only one we kept only one focus point in the region of interest. Spatial resolution on this probe was 0 0.15 millimeters. Uh, a bilateral measurement for each patient took about 20 minutes, and we have excluded, after having ex included patients, we have excluded uh, joints with a uh, uh, recent history in less than six months <coughs> of uh, pain or of injury. Data were saved and processed in an SPSS file, uh, which allowed us to define means, minimums, and maximum values, and also two standard deviations for its value, which were considered as normal intervals. Um, we have correlated the measured values with age, sex, body weight, and height we using, by using a person test, and we have compared our values with those uh, from uh, Schmidt and collaborators, uh, the initial publication, German publication, by using a T-test. So let me show you the results. We have included 58 patients, among them about 40% women. Uh, the mean age was 40 years, and the mean BMI was 24 years. We had a mean, an average height of 166 centimeters. So, uh, in, all, uh, all in all, we have explored 99 shoulders, 104 wrists, 97 knees, and 106 feet. And so this table represents the mean, mean values and the st two standard deviations 
uh, maximum uh, superior and, and inferior standard deviations for each measure. Uh, so we, we, were, we have restricted our study to uh, 20, uh, only 20 parameters, which are the most routinely used uh, parameters in daily life, uh, in daily life uh, ultrasonography. We have found no significant difference uh, um, between parameters uh, uh, for, height, for, uh, for height and weight except for the kangaroo cartilage, which was slightly more uh, thick, or was thicker in men than in women. But we could, this, can be, um, um, uh, this can be due to the inflation of the alpha risk, because we have performed more than 30, uh, uh, 30 exam uh, tests, and uh, having one or two uh, significant tests among 30 is not really um, pertinent. Uh, this is a comparison between our uh, values and the values by Schmidt and collaborators, and you can notice that there, there was no significant difference between the Algerian and the German values. Uh, notice also that the median nerve and other structures have not, have not been assessed by Schmidt and collaborators. Also, uh, there is a slight difference in terms of height between our population and, and the German one, which is slightly more important, of course. So, that, that, there were three main limitations in our study. Uh, the first one is uh, that there were, there were only one investigator for the whole examinations. This, so, we, we were unable to assess objectivity for this, this study. Objectivity means the agreement between investigators. Also, we have not performed a study of reliability, which, is, which means the agreement between uh, many uh, multiple follow-up investigations. And the third limitation is the fact that our machine was a little bit old, but we have uh, done that because, because of, uh, the uh, probe we have chosen was comparable to the one that Schmidt and collaborated used, so which allowed the direct uh, comparison. So, as a summary, we can say that uh, this study provides a reference, reference values for Algerian radiologists and rheumatologists for musculoskeletal ultrasonography, and uh, uh, the anatomical structures that we have chosen are uh, the most relevant, uh, the ones that most of the uh, ultrasonographists use in their daily practice, in, mainly in rheumatology. And I would like to thank all the 58 healthy volunteers who had participated to the study, especially the staff who worked in the uh, Simena Mirat Hospital in Berica, who were, who were very actively involved in this study. And I thank you for your attention.